to the motherfucking podcast guys hi i'm lacy i'm stephanie and this is oh here, here we, we go. go which does everyone know why it's called oh here we go go ahead <laughs> i just want everybody to know that even though i don't have a, the best relationship with my dad he is the reason that oh. i it is called oh here we go i didn't know that yeah <laughs> because i would start talking it whenever i was younger and i would get on some some tr- some train of thought or like just like basically go off and he'd be like oh here we go like she's just going at it again like I would start talking he's like oh here we go like my whole life so that's why I was like oh here we was go was he like poking fun though or was he like oh yeah okay like, no he wasn't like genuinely like okay. annoyed he was just like oh here we go like she's on one again like Aww. no it was more fun yeah so that's why I felt comfortable naming it that thanks Steve yeah <laughs> there's, there's your one Steve <laughs> anyway today we have on a really cool guest Nico yeah Nico Greetham um he is an actor and how do I, I how do you sum him up I, right <laughs> that's what I'm like a little golden oh, retriever. Like, yeah, he's the little golden retriever. Yeah. But he and I have been internet friends, I believe, uh, since like 2016, like year, like kind of when I first moved to LA and kind of when he first moved to LA, we never have met each other. It's always been over the internet, which I don't even know how we, we got connected, but he mentioned, he was like, Lacey, I think that we did a commercial audition together where we like had to dance together. <laughs> and I was like, wait, what? I didn't even know that. Um, but yeah, I have heard of him or not heard of him, but like been connected with him. And while we were thinking of LA guests, he came across my Instagram feed and I was like, oh yeah, th- like him, like he's an actor. He was just recently in American Horror Stories, American Horror Story. And when I looked up his IMDb, I was like, oh fuck, he's been fucking working. Like yeah. I had no he's idea. Power Rangers, yeah, like he was in Glee, General, let me, hold on. We um, have the credits. Yeah, wait. <laughs> He's Gen- a working guy. General Hospital, Glee, The Thundermans, Power Rangers, NCIS, Into the Dark, Birds of Prey, First Lady, Drama Rama, The Prom, Blue Bloods, American Horror Story, and Stories, and Love Victor is what I have listed right here. But I think there's more. Mm-hmm. But I was like, oh, fuck. I know. <laughs> I've only seen like a couple things, and one of them was American Horror Stories. And I just, w- I was so excited to have him on because I've just, I've been getting more into that space lately, watching uh, the Jeffrey Dahmer stuff on Netflix mm-hmm. and just kind of starting to get back into the American Horror, sto- horror Story saga, series, whatever mm-hmm. the fuck you call it. And so having him come on, I did not know what to expect because when you do those kinds of roles, it's like, what kind of person are you, mm-hmm. you know? And he walked in, he's just like... Hey guys, like, like very, he's like, you know, exactly what he described himself as is a little golden retriever. And I'm like, you fucking are, and you're amazing. He's so sweet. (laughs) I'm obsessed with his voice. Like, I felt very, like, safe and comfortable with him. This Ah. interview is, like, very fluid and flowy. And one thing that I really appreciated, I was like, oh my God, we're connected. He kept looking me in the eye. Oh, good. Yeah. I feel like in acting, is that not important? Yeah, no. (laughs) I find, like, you know, with acting, like, you, there is such a level of, like, vulnerability and, like, being connected to the people that you're working with or doing a scene with, and also, he moved here when he was 18 years old, um, and, you know, when you move here at such a young age, you really, like, grow up here, and you have here to grow up LA, quick. everyone. Yes, <laughs> um, and I just, I don't know, there's such a level of, like, maturity to him that I feel, and, like, respect, well, um, yeah, like, and, like I love, like, I don't know, he just feels very warm. Whenever I asked, what are you working on, I meant, like, what projects are you doing or have planned or whatever, and his answer was himself, and I was like, cutie? Uh, yeah, how cute is that? He was just great, this, we, and it was, like, one of the first times that we were doing an interview and we weren't looking at the time. Mm -hmm. Like we were just like, it was just flowing. Like I remember looking over at one point, I couldn't even see it. And I was like, I don't care. (laughs) Like it was just such a good interview. And he, and you know, as we have made it very clear lately, Lacey is looking for friends 
Yeah. And so <laughs> we have a potential candidate. I know. He, he already got the job. <laughs> Cute. Yeah. There's there's more spots available. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to be kicked out of this. <laughs> um, What's going on with you, though? Oh, yes. One thing that I haven't mentioned yet on the podcast is um, my boyfriend got a cat and I'm the mother, <laughs> but, <laughs> but it's very much his cat. But um, he had been wanting a cat for about a year. He used to have a cat that um, unfortunately passed away. Um, and so I was like, hey, I'll get you a cat for Christmas. And he was like, Lacey, don't don't spend the money on getting me a cat. And I was like, dude, but like you want it like. I'm such a gift person. I'm like, if you want it, I got it. You are. I w- we were about to do this other interview, and I was. she pulled up. You pulled up your notes, and, like, literally <laughs> the top note, most edited recent note it under, it was gifts. <laughs> and it's everyone's names and what she's been, like, writing down to get them from the whole year. And I was like, this? Yeah. Motherfucker. <laughs> oh, my God. Anyway. So <laughs> we go to this first shelter, which was a little bit more south um, of L.A., and we almost didn't even go to it, but I was like, let's just, like, go check it out. So it was definitely, like, just a rescue shelter. Saw some cats. A lot of them were full-grown, connected with one, um, and we were going to think of, think on it. So as we were walking out, um, this lady had two, like, infant two-week-old kittens just covered in fleas, dirty as fuck. Found them in her garage. Can't find the mother. Um, she had found, like, more from that litter, like, the day prior. And as soon as we saw this one kitten... I looked at Cameron and I was like, that's blue because we had already kind of talked about names and we thought blue is a cool name. And she is, I guess she looks like a ragdoll slash blue seal point. Like uh, Cameron posted a video of her on TikTok and it went like absolutely viral. Um, So like everybody's like, is that a ragdoll? And we're like, we don't know. She's a garbage kitten. Like, <laughs> <laughs> she's a dumpster cat. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, but she's <laughs> beautiful. Like we had to nurse her. Like we were getting up two to th- every two to three hours in the middle of the night, early in the morning, like nursing her. Um, when they're that young, they can't even go to the bathroom by themselves. So you have to like massage <laughs> their butt to like pee and poop. Um, so that was, hum- <laughs> that was a humbling experience. I feel like I've, I've kind of vibe with this lifestyle. Yeah. Like. And it's like, <laughs> I think it's kind of cool that we've gotten to raise her so young because, um, like she's going to be super cuddly and open to like so many people and like being touched all the time. Like she loves sleeping with us. Like she started mm-hmm. like sleeping on her necks from a young age. Um, but there's so many people that kind of like live in Cameron's house right now that like. So many people have watched over her. Like, she's very comfortable with multiple people. And we're, like, excited to kind of have, like, a f- cool fucking cat. Yeah, <laughs> cute. Yeah. Aww. So check her out on Instagram. <laughs> are you, you going to make an account for her? Um, Maybe That's not, not my responsibility. Oh, yeah. uh, right. <laughs> he yeah. might. Yeah. yeah. But I, Little Miss Blue. Aw, cutie. Yeah. Aw. Anything Congrats. new with you? Um... I just wrapped up my preset project, which was consuming my entire fucking life. Um, yeah. It was probably <laughs> the biggest solo creative project that I've probably ever done. Like, we've done some huge creative projects, but this was all from my head, and it was all on me. And... um you know, for those of you that have seen me post about presets and don't know what they are, they're essentially filters, lack of a better word. Um, and it is, you know, I get asked all the time, how do you edit? You know, wh- mm-hmm. how do you edit like this? Blah, blah, blah. And so I just decided to start selling how I edit because I was, I don't feel like answering anyone's questions for free because mm-hmm. I've worked 12 years in the photo industry that, you know, I had to pay and work and do all, all the information that I have for my business I worked very hard to achieve by myself. So um, if you ask me a photography question online and I don't answer it, it's because I'm not, no one answered my questions. So it's like, I don't know. Like I've just like been in this space where I'm like, how can I make money off of the information that I've worked so hard Mm -hmm. to obtain? And so I made these, uh, these, I, I didn't, well, I made these presets, but they are literally how I edit my pictures. So all of Lacey's Playboy photos, all of our fashion shoots, all my wedding work, anything that I do on my phone or my computer, I'm using my own presets. And so I just decided to turn them into a way to give them to other people. So that way, if anyone asks, how do you edit? I'm I'm like, here you go. 
I don't have to like ignore a message. Mm -hmm. I can just, yeah, here you go. Like, here's how I edit. You can have it for yourself. And it was really like the, I did, I did that project last year and I kind of did it on a whim. It did really well. And, you know, I loved doing that, but this time I wanted to do it harder and like more creative. And I spent a year making the presets, um, which were inspired by the relationship that I'm in. You know, they were all, instead of it being like vibrant and warm and colorful, this one was more film and moody and just different, way different than Mm -hmm. my last one. And, um, did art for each one, did photo shoots for each one, did a video, did, had a marketing team, had a coding team, like so much. I learned so much and it was so much fun that, yeah, it was great. And it, but I am very glad that it's now over because that was consuming my life probably from 8 a.m. until like 2 a.m. every day. Yeah. And, um, but it's, it's done, it's out. And now I can just like post my work freely and just talk about the presets freely. And yeah, so that's, that's a wrap on that. Mm-hmm. But yeah, guys, if you want to look into editing and edit your own pictures and all that, you can look on my account. But that is why, I don't know, I just think, I've just gotten to a point where I get asked how I edit all the time. So I just was like, how can I answer this? And I mean, you know, like, do you get asked like modeling photos or modeling like advice all the time? And it's like, how can I spend hours like writing out an entire paragraph to you like so yeah so many people like want to know the answers and I'm like there are none yeah and I'm also (laughs) like but I don't know I just am not that person I don't ask people questions online I just kind of try to figure it out myself like yeah or I'm I do offer I'm like can I pay you for this information like or something I don't know but it's been good because I've had a lot of photographers and just people that like to I, could, I I hate how original photos look. I, if I can tell when a photo is not edited and like our eyes do not even see, you will take a photo and how it comes out is not really how it looks even mm. to our eyes. And so I just don't like what original photos look like. Mm. And so I've just, I don't know. I've had a lot of people tell me like they, it, it's very, that they've really, really enjoyed it. And that's great because I'm like, fuck, if I would have made these and no one liked them, that would really fucking suck. So, yeah. but over so yeah well maybe if if you're in the market to shop some parsley presets (laughs) there's also another like topic on the table we are in the notions and we've been in the notion for a very long time to get merch going ah and so we're having we've been having like multiple conversations trust me all we've been fucking trying we've been working on this for like two years so it's been so hard but um, it's it's not that it's hard it's that our expectations are high and our our we don't want to create shitty we don't even want to call it merch we want to call it clothing like or maybe apparel oh here we go apparel yeah Yeah. like merch is not we don't we just want to make things that we would wear for you guys and um thing that not even just clothing but other little trinkets too like yeah they have so so many ideas on paper that we have no way to execute <laughs> I, I will tell you though if if we were profiting in any way that's that would come a lot quicker <laughs> yeah I, yes yes absolutely but we're just doing this for fun you guys so yeah, we're just staying afloat right yeah now. so but merch is coming soon it's we've been like having a lot of conversations to try and get this lifted off the ground. And I think it will be coming by next year. So yeah, we're saying it now we're putting it out there and you got to, it's coming y'all it's coming. And I think you'll start noticing Lacey and I style with the podcast, start transitioning a little bit too. And I think it, even my Instagram, I was just telling Stephanie, like I've been known for literally the past three years to have the colorful like, I, I literally, people tell me how color, like, I love your page and how colorful it is. And now it's, like, darker. And I'm, like. It'll always be more colorful than It most. will. But I'm just, like, it's a new identity. And I'm, like, I'm, like, am I comfortable with this? But I think I am. It's just, like, a new era. I think, yeah. It, and that's cool because it's, like, these, pre- like, the, the old presets were warm, vibrant, colorful, all that. And then these new ones are, like darker film or moodier and then it's also we're also transitioning to yeah. that too. it's like all coming at the same time and I'm like thank god yeah I mean I will say that 
Whatever Stephanie's vibe on is for <laughs> photography, mine will also be on <laughs> because I can't, like, all my photos are taken by her, so I literally can't help it. <laughs> like, so, whoops. <laughs> but I think it'll be a good time for that to start happening, especially with acting. It's, like, cool to, like, I yeah. think that's a good way to mesh those two worlds. You know, you want that New York kind of vibe, but you still want to be kind of colorful yeah. in yourself. I'm a cool girl. Yeah. I'm just I'm, I'm yeah. Dr- I'm dramatic. <laughs> God. Okay, guys. Well, speaking of New York and dramatic and getting into that world, um, we're going to hop right into this episode with Nico. Yeah. Um, also, I think one of the, the Ameri- this new American Horror Story season that just came out, he's also in. So the, the story or story? Story. Oh, yeah. I love that. Saw that on his IMDb. Yay. yay. So if you want to check him out, um, he is on TV currently. Yeah. He, he said to just look him up on Hulu. Do not look at his social media. <laughs> but I think he should do both. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. We're going to hop into it. Without further ado. Oh, oh here, here we, we go. go. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, guys. Hi. Today we have Nico Greetham. Hi. Uh, yes, I yeah, okay. nailed it. Yeah. Absolutely. Introduce yourself. Hi, everybody. Um, <laughs> it's Nico Grito. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Tell us about you. Tell us. Who are you? Yeah, who, who are you? You know what? I'm still trying to figure it out. <laughs> That's a good answer. <laughs> no idea. It's a loaded question. <laughs> yeah. I hate questions like this, but we're going to ask you anyway. So. <laughs> <Gee, thanks. laughs> yeah. Who am I? You know what? I don't know. Sometimes I think I'm like. A golden retriever stuck in like a oh. eight year old's body. That's like I can tr- picture masking. that. You are a little golden retriever. <laughs> yeah. Cute. yeah. Give me like a treat, a <laughs> chocolate chip cookie, and I'm <laughs> Just fine. Some you know? love. A yeah. good boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Aww. Totally. Um, yeah, I don't know. Happy to be here. Okay, <laughs> cute. Yeah. Well, for the, b- since he won't say it, I will. Yeah. He's an actor. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that is the occupation. Aside from acting, do you do what other things are you into? Ooh, um, I've, fitness has been something that like has been grounding me. I think the oh. last few years, that's kind of nice. Not that I, I'm not, I don't do it for work or anything, but it's good for like the mental health of life. Me, of yeah. Life. yeah. Um, I really enjoy that. I really like traveling lately. I've okay. been like kind of running away <laughs> to travel and that's been really nice. Where? Um, I went to London and oh I went wow. to Paris and I went to New York like 400 times and I'm wow. from DC. So I went to DC okay. a few times this year. Li- I don't even think I've been in LA for more than like three months this whole year. Oh, wow. Do you, not, do you like gigs. it here? I love it. I love it. I, I, I don't know. I've had this sense of like, I needed to run away for some reason. Aww. Um, and it's okay. And I'm, yeah. I'm good now. I think I'm like getting my feet back on the ground here. Um, but it was nice. It was kind of nice to like release myself. And leave. Did you go I, alone? Uh, for some of it, yeah. Okay. And then some of it, my best friend came with me or I met mm-hmm. people on the way. Oh, oh wow. Um, not, not like backpacking. I mean, okay. like, I met friends. <laughs> like that was strangers. Just, 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 just go on this trip homies. together. I mean, you really cool. are a golden retriever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just running. Aww. <laughs> when did you move here? I moved to LA officially, like, 2015. Okay. I'm, well, I mm. moved to 2014, and I, I'd, like painted my room and I got a gym membership and I was like yeah I live in LA <laughs> and then I had to like move to New York the same month that I moved here for oh. acting for I, I did a show in New York like a, a Broadway show oh what oh yeah. so you also did Broadway and like theater I did yeah what um, I can see it just newsies on Broadway which is cool. four million years ago Wow, do you like that compared to other a- no like, like norm- film normal acting? <laughs> <laughs> like what is normal <laughs> acting? Yeah, relative. Like <laughs> <laughs> film TV. Yeah, I they're completely they're like wildly different obviously. Mm-hmm. The the immediate reaction you get from stage acting is really nice and kind mm-hmm. of something that's unlike any other. And then, you know, film acting I love for the reason that I don't know, you really get to dive into a character and you also get multiple takes and multiple opportunities to like figure out how best to move the story forward mm-hmm. versus Broadway you know you have one chance you to do it and chance. hopefully you know it <laughs> yeah, like um, and then you do it eight times a week yeah, um, yeah I, I, I do prefer film and tv for sure okay um, but I love the stage I really do did you start in theater I started as a dancer um, oh. I was like dancer, dancer, dancer. Wow. Dot com. We're just <laughs> like dot com. peeling the onion right now. I'm like, there's so many layers I didn't know about. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, I was like um, a competitive dancer my whole life. And that's what brought me out to LA, actually. Whoa. What? Mm-hmm. I did um, a reality dance show that 
took me out here. What is what yeah, show? show? So you think you can dance? Oh, yeah. oh. So that's that's when you came in 2014, 2015, or uh, 2013. But I didn't like live here. That that okay. just like brought me out. That was straight out of high school. Wait, okay, okay yeah. wait. That show. That. What is okay? Because I'm getting it mixed up right now with Dancing with the Stars. What was yeah. da- what was so you think you can dance? I remember watching it. Better, like way better dancing, <laughs> like real dancing. Yeah. So <laughs> is they, were there were actual dancers on like a crew? Like so you had like oh, and you like competed with other dancers. Yeah. So you think was is more was more uh, like soloist. So you you oh. go as your own, and then they like do group dances and mm. stuff. But um, yeah, it's it's they pick a top 20, 20 dancers, ten wow. boys and ten girls. Look at and then you compete until someone Didn't wins. see this on your IMDb. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> thank God. Damn. <laughs> well, now I'm going to like it. Yeah. Go no, watch no, that. No, no, no. <laughs> we, we don't need to be doing that. Well, I mean, you were really young then, though. I was. I was freshly 18. Like, wow. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's when you were on America's Next Home Model. I think we were, prob- we're probably the same age. Yeah. Uh, 27? Yeah. Well, 25, but we, we, <laughs> can, we can say we're the same age. It's <laughs> <laughs> two years different. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, I guess... Being 18 in L.A., whatever you did when you're 18 versus who you are now is probably... It's very different. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> like, it's must be funny for you to, like, maybe look back on some of your social media, like, during that time and... <laughs> delete it all. Like, <laughs> all <laughs> those, like, those, those Snapchat <laughs> files. I'm like, ah! Oh, man. Oh, yeah. oh you were... Dude, you were cute on I, that. <laughs> I, cute. I, like, have really wanted to... I've seen, like, some of my old tweets, and I'm like... I talked about this like online. Like, right. why the fuck did I say that? It I was know. weird. Like, I'm like, can we just demolish all of these? <laughs> how do I? D- how do I do that? Yeah, I did. I fully. I wiped every. Like, I deleted my whole Facebook because I don't even know I what that life same. was. Same. How do we do that? How do you do that? I fully just you, you can deactivate it's like it. Deact- no, the, yeah, I like. Blew it up. <laughs> I threw yeah. my computer out the window. You can deactivate yours. I just didn't want to be honest, and like, and mind you, I don't. I don't think I said anything. But these days, everything's so sensitive. Yeah. Everything's cancel culture. Everything's you can't say one wrong thing, even if you didn't have bad intentions. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I'm not even going to mess with it. I'd rather just clean the slate right. and start from where we're at now. Well, because, you like, you're a new person anyway. And the person that you were when you were 11? 12 online yeah. on Facebook is not should not be a reflection of who you are today no. if you're not. Uh, that's the same. why I'm like i got to figure out how to do this. I'm totally. just like, some of that stuff. I'll help you. Yeah, we'll delete that after this. <laughs> I sure. can help you deactivate your Facebook. I just thought you had it on there for business. Well, I have, like, a business page, but, like, my personal, I'm like, that's when I was, like, 12. I would literally, like, post videos of me, like, making skits, all my music videos, like, you, on Can there. we pull that up? No! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> your audition tape for Mick is Next Top Model. <laughs> Wait, what's an audition tape for that? Um, you have to or, like, it was, like, a casting tape. Like, you had to kind of... This plant is Hugging just you? like, it's like, <laughs> no. it's like my pet, <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> <laughs> but we had to like kind of, um, just say who we were, show like what we did, why we wanted to be on the show. Like, what did I, you, what did you say that you did? Dude, I, I, I mean, cause oh, I was yeah. still in high school and I was like awkwardly sassy. Like it was totally not me. Like, you know, and you just, I wasn't myself. Yeah. I think you can see just. A little child putting on a show. Mm-hmm. Um, so I was like doing all this. I had like sound effects and stuff. Things were like in slow mo. I put music and like <laughs> photos were like, bow, bow, bow. like, oh, oh. No. you <laughs> booked, baby. You got that job. <laughs> I got that job. <laughs> oh, before we continue, I meant to say this literally five minutes ago. Your voice is so nice. Yeah. Oh, thanks, yeah, it's really <laughs> nice to hear on here. Thank You're already you. doing yeah. great. I oh, appreciate that. Yeah. You're very like, grounding and i like it thanks <laughs> almost yeah. like a nice so golden sweet. retriever <laughs> yeah <laughs> you're calming you're our therapy dog <laughs> yeah <laughs> cute. i'll take it that's great what was like your first big gig out here aside from and the transition from dancing to acting yeah yeah i guess relatively dance was was so you think um was the big mecca thing that brought me out here uh, but acting wise, I I transitioned in 2016, or I I fully decided that I wanted to commit to acting, um, and took a class, and then like kind of f- I I got really lucky. Five months in, I booked Power Rangers, oh which, yeah, you know, r- relative of like what big means, but that was my first acting gig. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, that's great that for a first me. acting gig. Yeah. It, was, it was cool. It was it's it was like a boot camp. It was um, because it's 
you know, it's a kid's show, so mm-hmm. the stakes aren't very high. It's kind of like wobbly goopy. Yeah. <laughs> but like, but it was a big film. A, a TV show. It's, so it's oh, the it's same oh, show that they okay. did in, like, 95. It wow. never stopped. It's still going now. Wow. <gasps> what? Isn't but they just, bonkers? like, switch off the Power Rangers? Yeah. So they, like, the storyline and the colors and the everything, it all changes every two years. Oh, wow. So, so it's bonkers. They <laughs> have a film, though, right? They did. They made mm. one in, like, 20... Something, okay, so something. this is the show, and what, okay, because, like, <laughs> my, growing up, my mom would not let us watch Power Rangers. Because it was too, like. I don't know, I have asked her th- to this day, and she's like, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> and it was, like, a huge thing. We weren't allowed to watch Power Rangers, or and we weren't allowed to sing that song that was, like, you and me, baby, are nothing but mammals. So, oh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Go on, keep going. I have no idea, but keep going. It's that, and then it's like, so th- so let's do it like they do it on the Discovery Channel. Oh, yeah. and <laughs> <laughs> so that and Power Rangers were like hard nose. And my mom, like, I'm like, Mom, like, why Power Rangers? And we were allowed to watch like Harry Potter, like, because they're super conservative and Christian. And she does not have an answer for me. That's so So I don't know much about Power Rangers at all. It just, I, d- I wasn't allowed. Oh, I wasn't yeah. allowed to say suck. Like, that sucks. Uh, <laughs> I had some friends like that. <laughs> I couldn't say the S word. <laughs> I remember my mom looked at me one day in the car, and she's like, you know what that means, right? And now I'm like, in my adult life, I'm like, what, suck a dick? Like, yeah. <laughs> like, what else could that mean? Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. Yeah, well, at least I could... I guess understand that Power Rangers I'm still confused by, but yeah. I mean I guess it's pretty like aggressive. Maybe they just wanted to make sure you don't get violent and start hitting your friends. Oh my God. <laughs> well, how was it like working on something like that? It was cool. I, it was great. I mean, I I didn't know much about the acting mm-hmm. of it all, so it was nice to kind of be thrown into like being on set for 16 hour days, six wow. days a week for nine months straight. Yeah. Wow. That's what it's like. It, it was pretty intense. It's wow. also, it's a non-union show, which oh, is wow. Interesting. pretty shady and yeah. wacky and crazy, but they, uh, people still sign on to do it. And so I they can work you like dogs because there's no union to like make sure there's no hour like law. Wow. I didn't realize there were any non-union sh- like TV shows. Like I thought there's there really not many. Okay. And wow. That's one of them. <laughs> it's one of the, it's like, don't do it because it's pretty, yeah. I mean, it's just not, you know, you're not really protected by mm-hmm. the union, so they can work you 16 hour days and you don't get paid extra. And right. <laughs> How long did you do it? Nine months, which is, you filmed two seasons in nine months. Which is like well, yeah, if episodes. you're doing 16 hour days, you better <laughs> you be better like, crank some shit wow. out. <laughs> Six days a week. Yeah. Yeah, we had one day off. <laughs> wow. Well, okay. So is that how, like, I I literally have like, your list of credits. I'm like, is that how these, these other, like, jobs that you've worked on can be like? They they can be. But again, because because all the other ones are in the union, mm-hmm. you know, the productions won't, won't want to go that mm. over because they're going to have to pay everyone for it. Um, so it's, you know, the 12 hour out, they're like, okay, let's wrap it up. Yeah. So Be- do you make more being in a union? Y- uh, totally. Yeah. Oh, thousand nice. percent more. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> it's like, um, <clears throat> especially like when you are like a developed actor, you like have to be in the union, but if yeah. you're like still tinkering that line, there's way more like non-union jobs, like commercials and stuff now. So yeah. a lot of people want to stay non-union because there's like so much more of them and it's like. Not as many, but you won't jobs. get into big things, right? Uh, <laughs> so if you're on that line, it's like you kind of like tinker, and I'm on that line. Uh, I'm in the union now. I'm like SAG. I've been SAG for a couple years, but I'm like still a BB. <laughs> Do you yeah. like working like that? Like, did you like working like that? The non-union? Yeah, like no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, uh, like Lacey said. It's good for you know for commercials. That's mm-hmm. they're all. All the like commercials you see on TV are pretty much non-union for the most part, um, and it's good for that uh, for that work. And I don't know much about is modeling. Does model have a, a union? No, there's not one. And that's they talk about it all the time, like how models aren't protected. That's um, crazy. Yeah. Um, and so when it comes to modeling, it's better to be non-union. Right. Um, but I'm fucking sag, and I'm, and I'm like, well, f- just fuck me. So <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> just go but here. now you can. <laughs> yeah. Now you can audition for like. 
yeah you know proper big shows and stuff i right? know i just recently signed with a new commercial agent and they were saying um there's only really like 20 percent of like sag commercials going on right now and 10 percent of that is celebrity endorsement so you have 10 percent to get a job <laughs> like Damn. yeah oh that's crazy mm-hmm Wow. And they're not like really going for like the pretty little white girl anymore. So I'm like, all right, well, oh yeah, like, a lot of people t- won't even look at her take her casting tape because she's white. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's you know, it's a it's a different world these days. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. What I'm saying. I was like, damn, all right. I know. <laughs> I I heard um because I just I've been seeking um t- a TV and film agent, and mm-hmm. I heard from a pretty big one, and she was like, she's great, but uh, she is female white and um 25 like pushing 30 and i was like <gasps> not <"What?"> pushing 30. <laughs> i was like all right well i'm i'm god damn 31 over here like what's wrong with that <laughs> damn Nothing's wrong with that. <laughs> wrong with Jesus. That. i was like damn let well, me live oh, wow <laughs> yeah i remember you calling me about that and i didn't even i had nothing to say yeah <laughs> like mm. Damn. Okay, well, back to you. <laughs> <laughs> so, wait, you realized at a young age you wanted to do acting, or? Yeah, okay. I, I knew I always did. Um, but I think in my head I was like, I because I grew up in Virginia, just outside of D.C., mm. and I was like, well, I can't act here. I can't be an actor in Virginia. <laughs> That's crazy. <Yeah. laughs> so I had to, uh, I was like, I'll wait until I get to L.A. and pursue it properly, I guess. Which I kind of regret now. I wish I took a bunch of acting classes growing up. That yeah. would have been nice. Right. <laughs> oh, right. Um, I wonder if that would have hurt you or, ma- like, because I wonder if, like, what the acting classes there are like versus, like, mm-hmm. do you think, like, if you're younger, you could pick up on, ba- like, traits that would hurt? Cause you c- like bad habits. And yeah, stuff. bad habits and, like. Yeah, that's that's a fair point. Yeah. I mean, totally. That's kind of class even now as adults. So, you know, mm. I think it's important to know what class you're in and know what your teacher is giving you uh-huh. you have to trust it because i think you can be led uh, you know in some some weird ways that if you get too adapted to what the teacher thinks and that's mm. you know there's kind of like some cult classes out here in la i find that mm. are like it's what this teacher says or or else yeah, yeah. and that's not real either you no. know there's a bunch of different ways to do things mm-hmm. um so yeah i think i think taking class like with a grain of salt and understanding that yeah it's important well, to like make everything your different own. places yeah. yeah well you were so close to new york but wanted to live in la why didn't you yeah well i'm just much more of an la mm-hmm. kind of guy vibe. yeah much, <laughs> <laughs> much slower i yeah. like the rooms at the plant yeah <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, same. I don't, I like visiting New York, but I don't understand how people live there, so I get it. Um, The hustle's tough there for me. me. I I couldn't do it. Were your your parents supportive of you wanting to do acting, or were they like, okay? Totally. Oh, nice. I was kind of the black sheep over there. I'm the only, like, artist. Um, Mm. My older older sister and younger sister, they all danced, but more so for hobby. Mm -hmm. Um, And yeah, they're all, my parents are like doctors and but they were all so supportive. It was really nice. Oh, wow, good. that must be fucking nice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, your parents not? Well, growing, mm-hmm. they are now because they're like, oh, she's a good person. She supports herself. I'm like, she works hard. So right. I'm like, I got it. Yeah. But per- like growing <laughs> up, like I remember, like when I first started modeling, um, my dad was like, you're gonna get into sex money drugs and i was like what? rock and roll now i'm like you're not <laughs> rock and roll you're not really wrong, <laughs> wrong he, he wasn't wrong about that <laughs> <laughs> but they were all like coincidentally different it had nothing to do with you acting so yeah well i remember <laughs> like growing up like i was always like doing like all the school plays like i wanted to i got the opportunity to go to la and like seek representation when i was in eighth grade and i needed my dad to pay for it and mm-hmm. i remember he looked at me he was like you can't even book the lead role in the school play like what makes you think that you could succeed <laughs> Out there. Damn! Damn. Came for you. <laughs> came for my throat. <laughs> fuck! I know. I was like, I, it was like Greece that year, and I was like, fuck me. And like wow. when I started modeling, it was always like a no no. And yeah, they always. I moved to LA when I was eighteen. They always thought that I would come back, and I was like, you thought like literally when they told me that they, they were expecting me to come back, I was like. <gasps> That was never even an option. You can't for me. go yeah. back to Arkansas. Uh-uh. Mm-hmm. Um, but that's, uh. Was that like a push though? Like, did that push you to be absolutely like almost to prove to them and to yourself that you're right. like, I'm not fucking coming back. During my like high school year, when I was like 17 or 18, like I just had the worst like junior senior year, and I think part of it was because I also had an eating dis- eating disorder, so I was like very like distance from like everyone, and I started modeling, and so girls were really mean to me. 
Um, so like my dad wasn't supportive. So I was like, oh, I really just had myself and like creating. And, um, once I got the opportunity to go on a and TM, I didn't even tell them at first. I kept it a secret and <laughs> yeah. And it wasn't until like it got serious where I had, I was so nervous to tell my dad. <gasps> yeah. That's crazy. But he was like super excited about it. Cause I mean, it's a fucking show and yeah. I, I almost didn't even send my contract in. Cause I was like, what am I going to do about college? And he was like, Lace, like, you should send it in. Like, at least you are giving yourself a chance. Um, so, yeah, they were super supportive of that. Um, and I, that was great. <laughs> but I was, like, ready to leave. And so I think a lot of, like, my family's doubt and, like, people from school's doubt, I was like, I'm going to prove all you wrong. Yeah, so that totally. it, it was like this like anger driven, like spite when I first came out here, <laughs> which I guess like sometimes you really need because if your parents would have been like so supportive from day one, it might've not lit the fire under you to like, absolutely. You probably would have been like, mm. like, mm-hmm. you know, I mean, maybe, I don't know, but yeah, sometimes when you're just in like our situation in the like, South, yeah, when you're always like taken care of and like given things, which is like totally great. I'm just talking about to the extreme extent, like sometimes you don't, feel like you have to do anything for yourself like totally. I think it helps know? being in a city uh, being born in a place you don't really vibe with or believe in or believe to fit in with you know yeah yeah well, <laughs> well we're all here now yeah. <laughs> we're nailing well, it when it were, so if you were into acting at a young age were you one of the, like the theater kids that got made fun of in school <laughs> or were you because I remember them yeah totally I, I liked them they were my friends yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> I was kind of friends with everyone, though. <laughs> um, no, I was, uh, my, uh, dance took up my whole life. Like, okay. that was, I was known as, like, the dancer. Wow. Is it ballet or, like, dancing? Like, uh, 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 everything. Every- oh. Yeah, kind of all styles. Was it common for boys, men to be actors on the east side? Because in the south, I feel like there weren't many. You mean male, dancers? Male dancers. Yeah. You, know said? you said actors? Oh. Well, yeah, <laughs> male dancers. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, it's it, it was. It was a huge... Okay. It's the, the stick. No, no, no. I'm saying it was a huge like. I got bullied uh, oh. my whole middle school okay. and and beginning of high school. It was funny. Everything changed when I decided to do the talent show in high school. Aww. And I was like, I'm fucking. I'm just gonna dance. I'll just like do a solo and Aww. show people what I do. Because I think everyone assumed I like wore like a tutu and I was like mm-hmm. a leotard. Uh, yeah. And like you know, dudes don't have to dance like that. I guess they could, but I didn't. <laughs> and I um. Yeah, I, I did it, and it, like, everyone the next day, it felt like a bad YA movie where everyone the next day was like, dude, bro, like, the people I didn't know, people I didn't like, people, they were all being so nice to me. I was like, oh, this is all like, wow. fake bitches. <laughs> but it was nice, so it was kind of cool. nice to, you like, had your moment to, I like, got to, like show, wrong. Yeah, and then, and then honestly shifted everything that I was wow. like, can um, we get that can we get that tape oh God. can we see your talent no, show I tape? hope it's not <laughs> anywhere to be seen you know one thing that we learned in our earlier episode is just we were talking about authenticity mm-hmm. and like how that's so important to make things like good and yeah. like feel real um so it's cool that even in high school you just kind of were doing what you thought that you should do and it, people ended up coming around because totally. you're just being authentic they yeah. have to i mean at a certain point everyone kind of thinks you're weird at first and then you just do it long enough people are like fuck it like <laughs> this is what this person does <laughs> yeah like, if you buy if you buy yourself then people will buy into you as well yeah you know? yeah just in all facets of life i guess uh, well how was it like moving out here to la like did you like it at first or was it were you just like fuck i miss virginia <laughs> Okay. <laughs> um, no, I love my family and my friends there, but uh, I was really lucky to move out here with all the cast of So You Think You Can Dance. Mm. So we were we were just like mm. eighteen year olds, all with your best friends mm. moving across country. Oh wow! And, and like having the time of our lives, and we lived in like a frat house of oh, all of of like four of the castmates for years. Mm. Um, so I just I honestly, it was kind of like our co- our little college, oh, um, cute. which is nice. Yeah, because did you go to college? I didn't. Um, yeah, because I didn't really. Either, I so. did community college in Santa Monica. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. my God. I forgot about that time. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that time wow. of your life. Very oh, random. Like, did you finish? I got an associate's degree. I was going to tra- you. I was going to transfer smarty. to this college that's like up the hill. But then I was like, you. yeah, I was like not going to. I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do. Like, I'm just going to sit. In, like, I feel like. If I actually had something that I knew that I wanted to work for, then I would actually pay attention. But I was just, like, floating around, like, why am I here? Yeah, totally. Wow. I went for three years, and then I was like, I'm making more doing what I'm not going to school for. <laughs> yeah. So I'm done. Yeah. Totally. 
Um, oh, what was I going to ask you? Um, well, you've been out here for 10 years, so like, what's... Ten? Is Wait, it 10? No. Wait, I thought you moved out here. Oh, seven years? No. Yeah. Eight? Wait. You've been <laughs> none of us went Wait. to college. <laughs> 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 oh my god! Well, but okay. Well, you've been acting for ten years, right? No. Dancing? <laughs> Fuck! You, what did you even do? Well, I, guess I I started acting in twenty sixteen. Okay. I guess that's what, uh, that's, that's. I thought so I saw though. short films. I I wrote ten years because I was like I thought you had some like indies or short films like back in the day. Um. Maybe not. Maybe. We can pretend maybe. you did. Maybe you did. <laughs> I Where did you see that? I think you're IMDb. Oh. Oh, oh, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, that doesn't count. <laughs> um, I guess it does. Sound. That's weird. That's weird. That's weird. Um, that was, a, it was like a class thing that was on oh, IMDb. Oh, cute. I like took a class and they were like, let's make a movie <laughs> and whatever. Wow. Uh, yeah. Okay, okay, so you haven't that's been. Funny. So, so I have been acting since. <laughs> I don't know if that was very serious, <laughs> but that's okay. Damn, I don't know what's real on that shit or what not anymore then. Uh, so well, yeah. After, like, Power Rangers, how was, um, like, working, auditioning, like, and just kind of, because I would consider you a working actor, and <laughs> I feel like, you know, it's it's hard to be considered that out here, so, like, how is, like, your, just your career? Totally. I, it's so interesting, because, you know, everyone out here is remotely out for the same thing. We mm-hmm. all, we all want similar things, but, yeah, working actor is, like, a a one percentile in all of those mm-hmm. people, which is uh, honestly horrifying, <laughs> but also yeah. it's, it's, it's really cool to be in it or, or to be working. Mm-hmm. I guess even if you're working on anything at the moment, you're a working mm-hmm. actor. Yeah. Um, but I've been really, really blessed. I know, I know that I've been very um, lucky and I'm super grateful, but after Power Rangers, I, 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 knew for sure that I was going to come back to LA and like hit the ground hard with mm. getting into classes. Um, I signed with like an acting agent and a acting manager. Cause I, I booked it through like my dance oh, wow. agent at the time. Who's now my manager. Oh, um, oh. Yeah. We're, we're, we're brothers. We're so close. And oh, I'm great. really grateful for him. He's honestly the reason my career is my career. Um, Love that. But it's very nice because yeah. you hear horror stories with like managers and stuff. So that's really great. Oh, totally. I n- and with that, I know I got so lucky. I know that that's it's like not easy to find, mm-hmm. um, especially one that's like knows you yeah. better than you know yourself. And that's Aww. honestly important. Yeah. Um, wow. So that so that was very lucky. But yeah, then then I after parents, I came and I I got into a bunch of class and I was just like so serious about it. And I stopped taking dance jobs and I, s- mm. I was like. If I'm going to commit, I have to, like, 100% step out of the dance world and step into this, like, new world that mm-hmm. I didn't really know much about, um, but I wanted it so bad. And then, and then yeah, I mean, there's definitely dry times and there's definitely more busy times. I think that's probably the reality of the career always. Um, mm-hmm. But, um, yeah. What <laughs> What's it like, like whenever, because we were talking with a comedian and a writer for some shows and she was saying how like you know there's 97% fail and 3% success when it comes to auditioning for things and you don't oh, yeah. you don't see the 97% fail rate with people and when it comes to auditioning like what kind of roles do you typically go for ah man that's <laughs> a great question <laughs> because for the most part i get you know i i don't i really don't want to be stereotyped into the the obvious what I look like mm-hmm. is what I'm going to be. I've played a lot of like jock roles and kind of mm-hmm. douchebag guys and freaking, I don't know, <laughs> idiots. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I, and I, I get those auditions a lot, probably because I've played them mm. um, in the past, but I would like to be, I'd like to challenge my, what people perceive me as, mm-hmm. you know, because yeah. I'm honestly, I'm, I'm a freaking nerd. <laughs> like I'm a <laughs> loser. <laughs> I want to be a loser. <laughs> um, and I want to be like, <laughs> I'm a piece of shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> let me be a piece of shit. <laughs> um, no, I play the piece of shit. Um, yeah. Well, I feel like you like looking at your social media and kind of getting to know you before the interview. I was telling her, I was like, he's in such a good spot for what I see. Acting turning into, yeah, because you have this, like, American look about you, but you can also, that can be turned into 
so many things. Like you can have the darker, sinister role. You could mm-hmm. be the the light and happy person. You could you can be. I feel like when you have the look that you have, you can be put into a lot of different categories so it, like with American Horror Story even I mean I only saw the one where you were an influencer <laughs> so, <laughs> totally. so, you know. yeah. <laughs> so you know like that was one but <laughs> but when it came to then going to your Instagram and like seeing your picture and everything and just kind of seeing all the new stuff you have coming out I was like he can be anything mm-hmm. like how lucky this look is great because it's like you can literally be cast, I think, into anything as long as you go can for you, it. Can, can you be a casting director and cast me? <laughs> <Yeah. anything? laughs> yes. <laughs> I'll just start getting onto that right now. <laughs> Thank you so much. But yeah, I mean, do you like, well, how is it working with American Horror Story, like getting into a role like that? Because is it, I mean, that shit's dark. So like, ha- does that affect your mental health at all? Um, it's It hasn't, it hasn't yet. I guess I haven't necessarily played a character that would probably mess mm-hmm. with me mentally. Unlike Evan Peters, who plays a serial killer every season. Yeah. And, like, he's, yeah. Is right. he good? Like, we need to check on the guy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we're watching the Jeffrey... Uh, my boyfriend and I are watching the Jeffrey Dahmer stuff oh, right yeah. now, and I'm just like, he is... S- I have forgotten that this is Evan Peters, and yeah. I mm-hmm. just think that I'm watching this person now. And I'm like, really? That's kind of why I wanted to ask is... How does that, like, roles, like, because you get into a character, you have to. And so, like, with being on a series like American Horror Story, even playing the skits and stuff with the American Horror Stories, Mm -hmm. it still has to kind of get to you a little bit, maybe, perhaps. So that's why I was curious. There is some bit of, I mean, the, the, the things that we're asked to do are really bonkers, you know? And I think uh, that goes for kind of any horror genre film tv show it's there it's wacky shit that's yeah. going on sometimes yeah um that it does it, it definitely can like put you in a weird headspace um I, f- I think it's important obviously for the actor as individuals to like know how to go through that process and probably uh, like i've set a regimen for myself to kind of like um le- like release the character mm-hmm. um and i do like mm-hmm. this little it's like witchcraft Aww. and i like write my journal i burn it and i have like crystals <laughs> honestly wow. which time but yeah just <laughs> <laughs> you could just picture that illustration right now <laughs> totally in <laughs> this apartment <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dang, yeah. um yeah i but but you know per per you know i, I think evan beaters he had a um psychiatrist on set with mm. them oh wow um to like make you know to make sure that he's okay and check in with him so that he doesn't kind of like tip over because I think it's a pretty dark hole once you uh, fall into it. Wow. Um, but it's also important to have people around you that like kind of know when to like pull you out or mm-hmm. when to like help you up. Yeah. What's one of the most like uncomfortable things that you've had to do for a role? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. You know what's f- so it's really ironic. I I get really um, squeamish with. Uh, like <laughs> like internal organs and stuff, um, <laughs> and I can like do with blood. Blood's fine, but like I don't like seeing that stuff on TV either. Yeah, and that's okay. But last season of American Horror Story, I'm sweating. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I was uh, pregnant. Oh with, yeah, um, an alien child, and it's casual, <laughs> casually, <laughs> uh, and they cut my stomach open for me to give birth to this alien naturally. <laughs> And um, and on the day they had to keep like per take they had to keep refilling <laughs> all the guts like I all my intestines and all the guts and everything they would shove it back in my like fake baby belly <laughs> and like I could feel the hands of like ha- the gooey it, like <laughs> I don't even know how to explain it but I let me tell you it, it was it was disgusting I can show you guys a video um it was just nasty the feeling of it that I always, I was like, guys, I think we might need to stop for a second. I was about to pass out. I wow. was, it was really, and I, I it's just ironic because I'm doing a bunch of horror stuff and yeah. I get yeah. squeamish. Well, I mean, you don't even think like, because I'm thinking like, oh, you know, maybe I think I'd be able to handle that, but I've actually never been put in a position where I've even had to be in that scenario of my own organs. <laughs> so I don't know if <laughs> I would do well with Does that. Does that make a scene like feel all real when there's like, 
when it looks real. <laughs> yeah, it well it definitely helps. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and that's wow. that's the thing about like self tapes and stuff. Just yeah. to bring that back real fast. Mm-hmm. It's like when they ask you to do that on a self tape, you're like, Well what the freak am I supposed to do with that? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Where yeah. there's nothing to like tangibly have. They'll ask you to do that on a self tape? They'll ask you to do some weird shit. Yeah. <laughs> or they're like, You're running and then you jump on a building and then someone mm-hmm. hits you with a chair and then you're and you're like but you have to stand straight up and down with a white wall behind you. <laughs> and you're like, cool, <laughs> sweet. So let me try and How act do like you that. do that? Jesus. You don't. <laughs> oh, my God. The imagination. <laughs> uh, um, so it is nice on set when there's real yeah. <laughs> blood all over you. <laughs> so. What's like, um, I guess your favorite, what's one of your favorite projects that you've worked on? Oh, man. I've been, I, I've, I've really loved most if not all the projects which is the lamest answer ever but um <laughs> i i did an indie film called drama rama um a few years back and it was like the best time ever making it mm. <laughs> it was like this three weeks of just it was like we were in summer camp and it was an ensemble piece so it was just five of us characters uh and it all takes place in a house and so we mm. just every day we were like at summer camp and we all just got along so well from minute one um, and then this, and then the movie's so wholesome and it's beautiful and it's a great story that it was just, I don't know, it was so, um, it's so heartwarming, I think mm. the movie itself, but also the, the process, uh, that I'm really grateful I got to do that. It, it opened my eyes to indie in the indie world mm-hmm. and I really would love to, to tap more into that. Wow. And what yeah. do you, do you find yourself working with the same people sometimes in projects? Like... If you'll work with someone on American Horror Story, for example, or Power Rangers, do you see him again on another thing? Like, do y'all kind of like all stick together if you find a good crew that you vibe with? Well, I mean, that's the dream. I think it's cool. Mm. It's really cool to like work with your friends or people that you have worked with um, before. And actually last year, and this year, I guess, um, one of my castmates in American Horror Story, the season, uh, we did... Love Victor together like a month after we wrapped, wow. but we didn't know. You know, it was like, uh-huh. well, she was always on the Love Victor show, mm. um, and I auditioned to join the the last season, and then we. It's just that that doesn't really happen, actually. Okay. Um. So it was cool. It was cool to be like, hey, like we're on the different that set, is cool. the same people. It was, it was cute. Yeah. yeah, that would be cute. It'd be nice to just be constantly paired with people that you create your best mm-hmm. work with. But I guess also then, other people catch on to that. It's like, okay, how many. Yeah. projects am I going to see all these people in together right. you know <laughs> yeah, yeah so okay with uh, like working with a bunch of directors I because everybody has a has a different taste a different like perspective um have you ever had any any difficulties like were you just not like uh, aligning with the director maybe or weren't speaking the same kind of language like was there ever like any kind of like yeah like I don't it didn't, this doesn't fit well you mean like getting a note from a from a director? Yeah, or something. Or just, yeah, like so I, I mean, like you said, I, all directors have such different um, mm-hmm. processes in how they go about doing their job, which is, you know, completely commendable, as we all do have different yeah. ways of doing our jobs. I, I, I like actor-directors where they, they like, love actors and they, like, mm-hmm. are, like, working with you and it feels like collaboration and right. it feels like you're making something together. Mm-hmm. Versus there are some directors where it kind of just feels like, it's their thing and you're just kind of a, a player upon it. That yeah. Makes it like a piece in the game. Um, so I, I definitely prefer the ones that are, you know, more collaborative. Yeah. Um, but I have, I've worked with some that just simply aren't collaborative and you're like, well, what if we did this? And they're like, no. And you're like, mm. okay. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's a stupid idea. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, cute. Damn. Can you like watch yourself like when the thing comes out? Like, because I know oh. some actors don't like it. And yeah, like, do you, how do you the like first review time, yourself? The first time is like this. I'm watching <laughs> through every. <laughs> I'm like, no. Um, I, I do, I like to see how it turns out. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and again, I, I've enjoyed all the projects I've done. I'm, I, I I've never had a, a a process that I really didn't like that I wonder if I do I wouldn't want to like relive that by watching it. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I I've h- have some friends who've kind of gone through that, but mm. but yeah, I, I find it really cool what we do. I think it's mm. really cool that like we make something. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. it's like we did this, and then months or years go by, and then all these people did their jobs to make this come to fruition and you're like whoa that's what we did like it's cool to see something that literally just started with a thought yeah oh yeah right and it's cool that (laughs) acting is literally 
creation with your body and expression mm-hmm. and your voice. Like, like there's you're just, visual, you're just like walking like, art, like yeah. all around. <laughs> yeah. Like, damn. Well, you have you have a question that I've been confused by for Me? him. Yeah, and it's um. Is it as political as they say it is? Oh. What does that mean? Like the business. Like the business, because, I mean, you'll hear over and over, like, this is a business. It's not just, like, all fun and games. Like, it's not just, like, this fairy tale, fairy tale world. It's like, la, la, la. Like, it's very much, like, a business, and it can get political. Oh. Like, is it political? Like, Or have you ever experienced that even on your end? Well, I think the, the politics that kind of fall into play, especially these days, are kind of like what we were saying with you having a tough time mm-hmm. finding representation right now yeah. is, is kind of like the where we are with the world and how everything is so inclusive and representation is important, which mm-hmm. is all completely valid. Yeah. Um, but because of all those politics, because of all the things and all the boxes they have to check mm-hmm. to make this show or movie, then, then it becomes like you were the best for the job, but unfortunately you're mm-hmm. not the box that we have to check. Right. So sorry you don't get the job. And yeah. that's and that I find to be political in, in all senses. And I think it always mm-hmm. has been kind yeah. of like that, which is why I think we're trying to shift it, um, which is dope. Mm-hmm. I'm all about the shift. I think there's, you know, there's probably some extremism going on with it. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. It sucks that everyone is always upset about something. And I'm like, guys, can we just, like, make movies and feel good about it? <laughs> yeah. And, like, um, can it be based off of talent? Like, it should always just be totally talent, you know? But... Oh my god, there's a show on Hulu or HBO and it's called Devs. There's oh, Devs is great. Okay. I don't know who this girl is. I'm about to fucking shit on her. The lead <laughs> the lead like, actress my sister. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. The lead <laughs> actress is so bad. Like I could not finish watching that show. It was it was so well done. I love the idea, but the oh. lead actress, we were like Ooh, she just made us so angry. We were like, <laughs> fuck this bitch. Like, I she's ruining the show. Yeah. It was so bad. And I was just so confused. Like, how can you book a lead in something and completely ruin it? And was then it a box? S- huh? Was it like a box situation that needed to be checked? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. I think she, like, knew the director or something because they had I worked on bef- something yeah. before. Yeah. But we were, like, so confused. We were like, you are so. I can't. I. Well, it's, she's actually a great actress. I okay. will. I mean, and like, mind you, I've you've probably she was in like La La Land. Oh, she was what? in like Crazy Rich Asians. She was in Ex Machina, which is what yes, yeah. She worked with the director on. Okay, which is one of my favorite films, indie films. And um, but but then yeah, you or, or you watch a performance, you're like, were you the best for it? And yeah. maybe maybe she wasn't. But again, it was probably the relationship that she had with the mm-hmm. creator that he was just like. Yeah, I, I have a show for you. It did not fit well because totally. she's in these like big name things like you right. mentioned. And I was just like, I don't understand. Like uh, if I were an actor and I saw that of myself, I'd be like, what the fuck happened? <laughs> like what happened? Like, oh, my God. And honestly, like I was thinking like if you were like watching, if you were like one of the people that was like watching the monitor, wh- what would you be thinking? Like if that, if it was like bad and you're like. Oh yeah, like, you're like, fuck, we're already, we're already knee deep in this. Like, nothing yeah. we can do now. I'm just going to stomach it. Yeah. I think the only actress that I cannot watch on anything except for that 70s show is Mila Kunis. I oh, cannot really? stand her acting. Uh, I, it, like I mean, she's beautiful. God, I would have a conversation with her, sure. Like, she'd be an amazing person, I'm sure. But I cannot stand her acting and it's very she's very tight-lipped and like not I, but on that 70s show kills it <laughs> and i just that's my only but that's one. i mean that's a beauty about i guess what we do you yeah know, it's all subjective that like oh absolutely like i'll say that no I, and i've said yeah. that to my boyfriend he was like what <laughs> and i was like just i'm sorry i just this is how it is but yeah, yeah. Uh, but that's my only one you know, maybe Drew Barry. I don't. Know. I don't really have like any. I don't really have anyone that like. I'm like, oh no. Except the girl in Dev. So I was like, <laughs> that was the, one of the girls that stood, or some an actor that stood out to me this year. That I was like, huh? Mm. Like, wait, I what? like that acting is so subject. I I like that it's not. I mean, it's just like every single art form. It is so subjective to like mm. literally everybody, and that's probably why that, you know what's her name is on that because they might be watching it and they're like this is great you yeah. know and you're like what the fuck yeah <laughs> like, because i guess if art wasn't subjective that would mm-hmm. not, a lot of people would not be making it 
at all and they would be born to do art in some way you know Mm -hmm. some people just get the little window opportunity so um I do have a question about like being on set go on do you like have how do you I guess like prepare a scene are you all on your own do you have like a coach with you or do you get together with your castmates um yeah like what is like who are, is that like your job to just take care of yourself? Like what happens? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, you do, you kind of have to, uh, everyone has their own job, right? And your mm-hmm. job is to show up on set and know your lines. At the end of the day, that's really all you have to do at the okay. bare minimum is to like know your shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, and which mind you, lots of actors don't. <laughs> they show up and they're like, what am I saying again? And you're like, great. Oh, <laughs> damn. Like, right. Are there any like rehearsals? Yeah. So, okay. so like the director will, will explain how you're going to shoot the scene and what it is in the space. And you have your lines and you work. But, like, you know, you don't have to be, like, memorized right then and there. Mm-hmm. Um, you should be. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, it's – it's you have a rehearsal, so you, everyone's kind of comfortable with what's going on. That, that And that, at the end of the day, kind of falls on the director being hopefully a good one. That mm-hmm. is is making sure everyone knows what's going on. And even even a part of the crew. All, everyone should be on the same page, I think, when they push record. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there's, you know, there's d- per per scene, if it's a really intense scene, you know, some actors, myself, like, I'd like a minute just before we go to, like, kind of get in the headspace mm-hmm. or, you know, you listen to a sad song and you're like, <laughs> all right, I'm ready, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, whatever it may be, or you can rehearse it with your scene partner. Mm-hmm. I find, like, um, for romantic things a lot, I like to be, like, really connected with the person, mm-hmm. um, especially before you start recording that... I don't know. Then I'll pull have you had to do a sex have, scene? I haven't. I'm so can't wait. <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, I do. I really want to. I'm so interested because I have no idea. I want to know. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I've, I've, n- I've, d- lots of kissing things, but not like. Have you had to kiss sex. men and women yet? On mm-hmm. how was that? Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I mean, I so like, kiss. well, yeah. like r- working up to that point do y'all have conversations prior like do you hang out before like do you I do that's I that's a big thing for me I'm, I'm I'd like to really get comfortable with you and make sure mm-hmm. you're comfortable with me before we're gonna be making out for seven hours yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. um, that I, I do I think it's really important <laughs> do you have to like we <laughs> As I am, Phil and Beers asking this. <laughs> do you have to, like, for kissing scenes like that, is there things you have to do to not be turned on? That's so interesting. I And that's that's my curiosity with sex scenes. I'm like, am mm. I going to get super turned on? Am I going to get hard? Do you have I to, like, yeah. take something before? That no. makes you, like, <laughs> not... <laughs> sedate you. <Yeah. laughs> I'll be like, damn. I think, I don't know. I think there's a, there's a bit of it where you know that it's... Work. Or it's just, like, yeah. Uh, you, there's a huge camera right here in your face yeah, yeah. and I'm making out with you that like, it kind of takes you out oh, a little bit or like right. or there's a guy standing you're there with a thing like yeah. 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 <laughs> and you're making out and you look at him and you're like oh, okay. oh yeah right <laughs> <laughs> um so I think there's is some like reality that kind of is like this is not real mm-hmm. right um but some I mean sometimes there's like heated or like a kiss gets good and heated <laughs> and you're like oh I'm kind of into it <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Well, yeah, oh, they if said cut. Like I didn't hear it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they said cut. Like, Sorry, it's <laughs> uh, well, yeah. Have you been attracted to anyone that you've had to do a kiss? Everybody. Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm oh. attracted to everyone. <laughs> oh. oh wait. Okay. So then, can I ask if you're like bisexual? Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm. I sexuality to me is so fluid. beautifully fluid. Aww. Uh, and myself, I always have been. Mm-hmm. Um, but especially as actors, I think it's really important to have empathy for everybody. Mm-hmm. Um, and that limitation. Well, you know, sexuality can be whatever everyone wants it to be. Right. Yeah. But I find myself. I don't like to be limited. <laughs> uh anything because i want to be able to feel everything Aww. and i do feel everything yeah and yeah i'm wildly attracted to the boys that i hook up with on the screen uh-huh. <laughs> and they're i mean they're all my dear friends too yeah. and and it's such a safe comfortable fuck yeah uh, cute yeah <laughs> yeah but you know cool. i'm have down you, for the count <laughs> have you like ended up dating have had things ever gotten like weird where you like start dating someone and uh, then it turns yeah. and then you still have to work with them so no so i okay. have a good old rule for myself that like i i think it's important for me if i'm going to catch feelings or if i'm gonna want to snog you outside of work <laughs> um, <laughs> that uh to make sure that like the job is over 
just because mm. I think that's so dangerous. I think if if you try and teeter that line of like love and work, they're both really intense things. And if if it's if they both work out, then that's lovely. Mm-hmm. Then if it goes bad, then it goes bad. And if Very it's started to affecting work, mm-hmm. then it's not. I almost find it not to be worth it. No. Yeah. Um, so I, I give myself a rule to like, if I'm gonna want anybody, I can want them. After right after wrap day. Yeah. <laughs> Literally the minute they say wrap. Yeah, like, how do you date while you're filming a project? Like, how, is that hard? Yeah, what's dating like here for you? Yeah, I, it is. I think it is pretty tough, especially uh, this industry is just kind of whack for dating in general, mm-hmm. especially in, in, in a way of, like, our work days are nuts. You know, you're gone all day. Mm-hmm. Um, and then usually... It, you're in Canada or you're in Atlanta or you're anywhere else but home. Mm-hmm. And so if your partner is at home and you're away, then it's a long distance relationship. And then also you're gone all day. So you can't really talk to your partner unless you like really actively try and make it work. But mm-hmm. then if you want to focus on work, yeah, you know, it's, yeah. I think it's pretty tough. Mm-hmm. Um, D- would you prefer to date someone in the same industry or you, of you as you or outside of it? I don't know yet. I think I'm trying to figure that out. Mm-hmm. I, I've, I've dated actors and dancers and whatnot um but i'm i'm kind of talking to this person right now that's not in the industry and it's really refreshing oh and i'm like it. oh we don't have to talk about work at all wow that's really nice oh, and yeah. it's it's like kind of it's really refreshing to just to not have to deal with mm-hmm. or not deal or i don't know not have to think about work at all times are they I able to like travel travel with you travel travel <laughs> are <laughs> they able to travel <laughs> um <laughs> Well, well, this is very early stages. This yeah. Oh, yeah. It's not that deep. Um, <laughs> <New thing>. <laughs> <laughs> so well, I'm not sure, but. I, I have a schedule that I get, I make my own schedule and I travel a lot for work. And so, I mean, I don't think I would be able to date somebody that couldn't do that as well. So my yeah. boyfriend also is able to do that, too. And I was thinking about it whenever we were preparing for these interviews and stuff and asking this question when I think about actors and like how often you have to travel as and musicians as well, it's almost like they have to be with a partner that either has a flexible schedule where they can like work from home or like, you know, virtually yeah. or you're just kind of doing something and someone's supporting someone a little bit more so mm-hmm. you can be with them because you it's really hard to build a relationship long distance. I mean, you can keep it going and do that, but like the the growth and the potential that's there is never really met unless you're there you know yeah, totally. i was just like i don't know it actors dating actors i'm like how the fuck do y'all do that unless you're all in the same movie all the time like, right <laughs> every I, time yeah <laughs> like <laughs> i guess brad pitt and angelina made it work for a little bit but how many movies did they do together like I one that's true <laughs> um okay well good for you for talking to somebody new that's good yeah, yeah. are they here in la yeah it's cool uh, to kind of date people outside of your profession just because you can also learn something new about something else yeah Yeah. it's like a new world there you're like oh i didn't know about this absolutely yeah yeah oh i did not i could not ever date another photographer yeah but it's nice to like when you do have someone kind of in the same category it's nice to feel like understood about some things that's true yeah but that's what friends are for too (laughs) (laughs) to because i'm like i have great friends that like get (laughs) photography so (laughs) okay totally um what was your like oh fuck moment it's happening or like Maybe did you have any imposter syndrome, like walking oh, on yeah. set? <laughs> <laughs> I I did a film with that Meryl Streep and like Nicole Kidman and what? Carrie Which one Washington, was that? and um, it's called The Prom on Netflix. It's okay. like a movie musical. Wow! But like every time they're on set, I was like, this can't be real. I don't think this that is. That has real. to be like it's full. It's full. Like oh fuck, the what's happening? Yeah, you like see Meryl Streep's like cast chair right there with her name. Uh. You're like cool <laughs> 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 wow. getting a selfie with it <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fully. yeah um yeah mind you they're all so lovely it, it mm-hmm. was really cool to meet people of like the highest of high in our industry mm. and be so lovely mm. and just normal people and genuine um but yeah i mean that that was that was imposter syndrome i was like <laughs> is this happening Damn. it was cool wow. okay yeah. i need to watch that like <clears throat> i've also wanted to know have you ever had like off days Like, where you're just like, I just am not, like, how do you kind of comfort yourself 
and like like I did okay, like it's fine. Oh man, well, <laughs> I think it's important to have people around you that can do that for you because yeah. the spiral can be real. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and thank God for my manager JC who it has to deal with all that. He okay, deals with the, wow. the me that goes in the depths of like, oh God, I'm trash. I'm never acting again. I'm quitting the business. I'm wow. flying to Arkansas. <laughs> I'll see you there. Like, God, don't do that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> have you ever done psychedelics? If uh, shrooms. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Totally. Oh. Yeah. Um, I love shrooms. Can I say that? Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> Mom? Yes, you can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, oh, I mean, sick. I guess it's... These are really cool. Right. Right. Aren't these cute? Uh, Where are these from? Um, Cosmic Ceramics. Oh, okay. <laughs> they don't sponsor us, but I wish. That I, would be I nice. bought these with my money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we have to say that a lot. They don't sponsor us, but, you know. If you, like, I, drop a name. Yeah. I'm like, maybe. Yeah. Um, what was going to ask you? Um... Fuck. <laughs> My ADHD is so bad. Um, I can't think of what I was going to ask you. It went along with what you just said. Shrooms? Oh. Oh, Shrooms. yes. Okay. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> actually, I asked that question. <laughs> wow. Well, yeah. Um, when it came to whenever you did that, how did that have any impact on like how you viewed acting after? Because when I do psychedelics and I watch acting on TV, it's really hard for me sometimes because I feel like I see it totally differently have you done that yet i haven't i <sighs> i i'm really into microdosing these days i think it's mm. really sweet and then i've i've done a bit more than microdosing but never to where it's like some sort of like ego death or yeah something that's completely life-altering yeah um which i'm not opposed to at all i just haven't i haven't um experienced that yet but mm. but yeah I, I can imagine that I i also don't think i ever watched um anything whilst being it, it's hard for me to like I'll I will be I'll trip and watch friends and not like during the height of like you know you're three hours in and yeah. it's like intense and you're just like I gotta turn on friends like this is like at the very end of the night and I'm like fuck I can't I can't watch this because I'm I'm looking too deeply into their lives and so I always have to turn on like earth or like planet a, some earth, a planet yeah. earth or oh, like yeah. some animals or something like that so I didn't know if like that had had any impact on like how you viewed acting in general but oh, yeah. i wish i wish i had some <laughs> cool juicy story for you <laughs> um do that's you, interesting though do you have to are you in therapy to kind of like stay sane out here it's interesting i i've been talking about this a lot i mean i i'm a huge supporter of therapy i've just i've never done it before mm. i think i've been really look i'm honestly <laughs> my friends are my therapist where i just mm, i don't yeah. really bottle things in mm. um so i think when i when something's like pressing or on my mind or something i'm I'm pretty communicative about oh, it good. um which i which i do find to be helpful in relationships mm -hmm. oh yeah uh so but yeah they i mean but i i no one's giving me professional advice which maybe i do need <laughs> and I, I i recently i have been um i've been actually looking for a therapist mm. just to just to like Aww. try it out and and not that i'm not because i'm in any yeah place in my life that's worse than another but i think it's really beneficial mm. and all of my friends do it well you um, mentioned yeah. that you were like running from something whenever or felt the need to be running away mm -hmm. was that like from like something that happened relationship maybe something here like what was that i think so i get i put so much purpose in work mm -hmm. uh and if i'm not working then i'm purposeless then i feel mm. lost and i feel really um like off balance and i kind of rely on work to like get me back on track mm -hmm. so in my in-betweens i find myself to kind of lash out sometimes uh, and do you know bad habits that i fall into uh, or, or things that I don't love about myself or, mm -hmm. or do things that I, I wouldn't do if I were working, you know? Yeah. And I think this year I was like, I kept doing that. And I was like, fuck this. I just have to like, mm. I felt so lost here in LA without work that I was like going to travel, um, which was really nice. It was really nice to kind of take my mind off it all. But then I'd get back and then feel lost again. And then I'd be like, okay, I'm going to leave again. But then that's also not mm. real too. Or I'm just running away. Oh. So I think I made the conscious decision to like face myself and be like, well, when I'm not working, I have to figure out what, what like non-working Nico yeah. is and what he needs to like be a fully formed human. Cause I'm putting work, I'm giving that excuse to be like, that's my fully formed human. Yeah. But I have to like be Aww. with myself. Yeah. I really relate to that because 
when I am not busy and I'm not working, I can get like anxiety and I can think that I'm like, like there's no purpose to me. And like, then I start getting in my head and then it'll like trickle into like my friendships or relationships. And I'll do things that like I would not have said or done if I were just busy, you know? So I can totally, I feel like therapy would be cool for that. Like that'd be good to like, that's like one thing you could probably talk about. <laughs> yeah, that's on the list for yeah. sure. <laughs> one, one thing that I said this week about therapy, it's like really great to just be like heard and just like unload your shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I made the joke. I was like, yeah, I just get to be the victim. And she's like all here for it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's yeah. So funny. That's so true. <laughs> she's like all on my side. <laughs> <laughs> the pity party you want. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and they like have to listen to you. So it's yeah, nice. you pay them. <laughs> yeah. fucking have to. She's like, mm, yes, that was bad. Like, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Which therapy's been great, but part of me, it's like, I wish that she would give me the answers, you know? I'm like, well, that's another <laughs> thing is like, I think <laughs> they're supposed to give you feedback. I feel like a lot of it's like me talking and then just coming back to a circle and being like, okay oh like i found the answer i'm yeah. just like can you work on, like you do it i like, like hearing me it. <laughs> <laughs> what, my therapist like will give her own experience back mm. and sometimes it doesn't help because like when i was talking about my my boyfriend and i arguing she was like and I was like, what do you think? And she's like, well, my husband and I have never had an argument. And I was like, that doesn't help. So, <laughs> yeah. That's not healthy, lady. I know. Well, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> and it made me, I'm like, fuck. And that just, like, gets in my head because I'm like, oh, are we tough. allowed to have an argument? Like, are you not supposed to argue with, like, your person? But I've never heard anyone say that. So sometimes it doesn't help. That's crazy. But, like, know. other advice, yeah, like, she's very spot on. But that one stuck with me. And I'm like, fuck, <laughs> you know? Like, yeah, so sometimes crazy. it's good and bad, yeah. I, I know like I and I I I have some friends that have been with therapists for like years and years and years and they really know them and have been with them through experiences mm. and I find that to be nice mm. where they can like pull on they like know you so mm-hmm. they can kind of answer whatever you want based yeah. off like them knowing you yeah and That's also true. having their wisdom that they have yeah professional wisdom but then I'm like and I yes but then I'm also like don't we learn from other like we we learn from having conversation deep conversations from different types of people so I'm like because there's also the thing where it's like you're supposed to have a new therapist every couple years because then they can give you their own feedback and like you get deep you know like each person brings something new to the table Mm -hmm. but god it's like starting a new relationship and it's just like oh you have to unload again and so I'm like I don't know how people do that my current therapist I started working with her in 2020 with my ex-boyfriend um, and we were, we started working with her in couples therapy, mm. <laughs> and it was funny because I had only been together for with him for a year, and everybody was like, "Lacey, this is a red flag that <laughs> like you've only been d- with him for a year and you already need therapy." That was me <laughs> and my <laughs> boyfriend and I got in, then like me and my boyfriend started dating and like within month two we were in couples <laughs> therapy. <laughs> wow. So that was like a big like wow, Stephanie. Sorry. <laughs> I think there's like some things that you'll say and then it'll circle back and you're in there. And it's reality. hilarious. And, it's and all you're like, I you're deserve like, all of it. Oh fuck. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> well, no, and like totally change it because prior to even that even happening, I was like, the next relationship I get in, I want them to be so open and willing to be doing couples therapy early because I mean, what? Like you there needs to be a space in a relationship where you have the middle ground. What is it? Uh, the space to just be able to talk about those things and there's no judgment. There's a third party there that doesn't give, they're not, they're not picking sides, you know, like mm-hmm. a space to talk about that where an argument can't hopefully cannot happen. You know, like, I think that's so important. That's how you grow. Well, sometimes in arguments, it's very hard to like hear the other person mm-hmm. because like you're stuck y- on you your can, own opinion. Yeah. Like you can hear, like they can, may say one thing and you interpret it in a completely different way. You're like not hearing them, how they're meaning it. And someone else can just be like what they meant was, yeah. and you're like, Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. I, th- I think if, I think all relationships should just be in couples therapy <laughs> at the very day one. Day one. Start with like, it. Uh, oh, we're uh, we're dating now. Okay, now we'll sign up for couples therapy. So I just <laughs> think it's really this. important. Yeah. Here's the contract. Yeah. <laughs> so my bad for saying that. <laughs> <laughs> I take it back. <laughs> um, <laughs> 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 
was cute. Go ahead. Anthony, cut that. Or, no, include that. No. Send us a clip. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I wanted to know, with you kind of transitioning into acting at, I would say, like, 18, 19 years old, it's a very, like, transformative time of life. Mm -hmm. What has acting taught you, like, about yourself? Oh, man. Um, I feel like so much. I feel, even even back to what we were just talking about, of things of me putting so much purpose in my work, and then I'm actually realizing I have to, like, deal with myself that in turn because of acting or because of my work is making me face myself mm -hmm. and learn things about myself. But I I think it teaches a lot of people about discipline. And I think mm. it's a lot of um like I mean it's a it's a career full of rejection mm -hmm. and hearing no's all day, like you said, ninety three percent or ninety seven. Yeah. yeah. Like ninety nine, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> percent of absolute no's. Um, you know, can weigh on you that I think you have to learn how to individually deal with that and cope with that and be strong and mm -hmm. um I it really builds tough skin, I think. Mm. Um Oh yeah. That yeah, I but I've learned a lot, even in, in the characters that I've played too. Um I think you can learn a lot with learning how to empathize with these characters, like that douchebag TikToker. I oh, I that you had to play. That I had to play. Okay, I was like, who? <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> <And> you're like, <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> like, who? No, no. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> well, it was weird. My boyfriend and I we were watching that role for you, and he didn't. He just he doesn't know and who we're bringing on. Sure. And I was like, oh, it's this guy, and I clicked on it. And he was like, are you serious? And I was like, this is acting. This isn't his oh, own personal, yeah. like, <laughs> YouTube. And he was like, <laughs> he was like really concerned for a second. Anyway, go yeah, ahead. No, totally. <laughs> you were believable. I guess that's good. I did my yeah. job. <laughs> he was like, Stephanie, are you serious? I was like, no, we're not bringing on, like, Jake Paul. Like, this, we're, this is his role in this. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. But, but when I studied all, I studied Jake Paul or Logan Paul and um, like or, is that or Bryce, yeah. Bryce Hall too, oh, and yeah, like what all those boys, Taylor Holder, House yes, yeah. I, so like watching them doing deep dives on those guys is was oh that was your thing shocking. Yeah, yeah, they were kind of loosely based off all those guys. Yeah, um, I mean, it looked like their house. Like totally. as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> and actually, the events that we did in the show were based off things that they did in real life, like oh. the like the suicide forest one. Oh. oh. That's a real video. Like, wow, what do we yes. mean that's a real video? Damn, that and that's recorded like, suicide. and that was his thing. That was the, oh my God, wait, right. Wait, what happened in real life? They were walking through like Suicide Forest or something? In Japan. I think it was oh. one of the Paul brothers. And that yes. was like one of the first things that they did that it got like a huge backlash. Yeah, Logan yeah. Paul. Or okay. so many. Like bonker. We were like, yeah. what do we mean that happened in real life? Yeah. Um, wow. I forgot about that. Okay, anyway. Sorry. Yeah. So <laughs> I, anyway, learning about these guys, I was like, wow, these are real people. Mm. And they like really think like this and they kind of like think the world is theirs and they can do whatever they want. Mm -hmm. There's no consequence. But again, I think with acting, it's cool to, to learn how to empathize with that and, and try and figure out where that comes from and why they're like that. Oh. And, and, and it gives them validity of being like, okay, maybe Bryce Hall isn't the worst fucking guy on earth because of all these reasons that he's pro this is why he's like that. Uh -huh. And it's, you know, it's kind of like serial killers too, where you're like, they're doing the devil's work, but also why, you yeah, know, and, what and happened? Like they yeah. think that it's the right thing to do. And so you're like, what, what is that? Like uh -huh. internal monologue and struggle that they're going through mm -hmm. that makes them do all this. I, I f it's really interesting. The, it's like human study. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh. Which I, th I think it's cool. I kind of keep learning about, people yeah my, my characters yeah. well that's something that was one of the first things i ever learned in therapy was she was like you need one of the first things because empathy is not um t it's not a. Uh, you're not born with we're it. not born with it it's mm -hmm. we have the capacity to have empathy as humans which makes us different than animals mm -hmm. but we have to be taught empathy and if we're not taught it we can be well, monsters. Monsters. <laughs> like, we, I mean, you. there's so many people that don't have empathy. And even myself, like, it took me so long to really learn it. And it's still even hard for me to, like, pause when I'm upset or mad and put myself in their shoes. Mm. But it's like, if I can just remember to do that, and once I do, I'm like, it completely shifts. I mean, I'm, 
really not empathizing with serial killers ever, but (laughs) it is when I'm watching stuff like that and then they show the background of like how they were raised or like what you do get that empathy and you're like, Oh, this is why they're crazy. It is. It is funny. Like, um, you can almost have empathy for almost anyone, like just hearing their part of their story or like, you know, what's their walks of life. I'm not necessarily speaking on the serial killers, but like, it's so easy to kind of like maybe judge someone or like get mad at them or yell at them or anything. But as soon as you like get to know them, you're like, oh, never mind. Like I feel like a piece of shit for talking shit about you. You right. know, yeah. like yeah, totally. Uh, yeah. yeah, like yeah, like I was even thinking about our little tiff, and then <laughs> I was like feeling one way, and then seeing you, I was crying. She was <laughs> crying <laughs> and having a <laughs> panic attack, and then I was like. <gasps> Okay, like and it just like immensely I was like damn she was like clean she probably like blah, blah. I was like putting myself in your day mm-hmm. yeah and I like felt like shit and I was like why can't I just remember to have it? why can't I remember to be put myself in someone else's shoes first god it would save me so many arguments probably with my boyfriend anybody <laughs> I'm like fuck I'm trying though I'm trying it's all right. At least so, awareness is key but it's cool because acting you literally have to play another person and then you do learn it forces you to have empathy, mm-hmm. and you get paid to have it. <laughs> so that's fucking great. I get fucking paid yeah, to have like, empathy for my boyfriend. <laughs> um, when it comes to like your dream role, like if you could be cast in a dream role, what would it be, and who would be acting with you? Mm. Ironically, serial killer. <laughs> oh, <laughs> After okay. All that talk. Oh. Um, I think they're so interesting. Um, yeah, we could see a little dark, dark side to you. Oh, yeah. What? Mm-hmm. What? Okay, because how many more serial killer movies are left? Because I'm like, <laughs> yeah, we've Julie. done Jeffrey Dahmer, we've done uh, Night Bundy. Stalker, yeah, and Ted Bundy, Night Stalker. yeah. Um, which one could you play? Well, I don't know if I don't. Know, I mean, even if it's a fictional one. Oh, okay, <laughs> I'd okay. Love, I'd, like, <laughs> I'd love to just <laughs> kill everyone. That's <laughs> <laughs> really what I'm getting okay, at. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I I want to see you do that role. I'm surprised. You, I feel like you're. You will get that. I feel like it's. I coming. think so too. I think yeah. I will too. Um, and who's acting alongside me? Uh, I love Jake Gyllenhaal. I think he's the man. Mm. Oh. Um, I n- I feel like it's kind of like an unpopular opinion. I mean, I know people think he's great, but I think he's his career is also kind of dreamy to me, mm. where he he does these huge Marvel movies, but then he also does indie films, and he yeah. also goes to Broadway all the time, and he kind of like does whatever the fuck he wants. Because uh, he can, cool, and like yeah. he's just artistically fulfilled, but then also financially nailing it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and like that's the dream. <laughs> yeah, <you know? laughs> um, is he your favorite actor? I, he's up there for sure. Uh, he's dope. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, who who cool. is your favorite? I'm Jake. Um, <laughs> I love and Brad Pitt's the man too. Yeah, I think he's just so cool. <laughs> um, Ana de Armas, do you know the one the the she just played Marilyn Monroe. Oh wow! Yeah, I yeah. think she's such a great actress. Yeah, um, and Margot Robbie's. Oh, she's my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. if the, all these people could be in your movie and you're the serial killer, are you killing them Ooh. or are they down to kill <laughs> your accomplices? Maybe. Yeah. Or maybe they help oh. me. Yeah. Maybe they're the brain. Maybe Brad Pitt's the cop. You're the, you're the Brad killer. Brad Pitt's the cop. Jake's helping me. Margot could Anna. be either your sister she's your or mom. lover. Oh. <laughs> she's your mom. <laughs> <laughs> she could be that. She'd be like the craziest mom trying to get you to hold it together. Damn, yeah. I love it. What a nice movie. All right, guys. <laughs> start writing. <laughs> How do you balance? Oh, well, I guess we already asked. Like, you balance this with your mental health with friends. But, like, when it comes to dating and you being in these roles and famous, like, do you have a hard time kind of, like, do you tell? Do you not tell people like your social media and stuff when you first like? Do you not want them to know who you are whenever you're dating them or starting to talk to them? I mean, I don't. I'm not like wildly. Famous, yeah, but I know? mean, like, kind of <laughs> more than most. Well, like, I damn. appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, yeah, I don't. I definitely wouldn't want to lead with my. Here's my Instagram. My resume or yeah. my Instagram. Here's definitely my status because yeah. it's all fake anyway. Right, you know, right. It's not real. Do you I, handle your own social media? I do. Are you offering? Are you offering to help? I will help you. I love it. Well, at least it's pretty good at it too. I feel like you yeah, do a you great job, really though. I it it's really just tough for me. Like I, it's hard for I an like actor. hate it. Yeah, <laughs> actors have a hard time selling themselves. I feel like, especially with social media. Like mm-hmm. she's found that 
in the acting world. Like she's having, you're having a hard time with your social media because I'm like, do I need to turn tone it down? Do you, like, do I, like, do I need to look more normal? Like more like <laughs> New York it's, vibes. It's and so like, annoying. That's the thing is like we're supposed to be perceived a certain way or honestly as yeah. actors you're supposed to be mysterious and no one really wants to yes. know who you really are and blah 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 i'm like i'm just really not innately mysterious mm. <laughs> yeah um, same and so like it's to like not overshare but then it's also to not undershare because you have to have social media mm-hmm. and then oh it's so it's so complicated and yeah. i'm like i don't i'd rather honestly just not have it mm. and not have to deal with it because it makes me want to throw up all yeah. the time um a lot of famous actors don't have well, because they're busy. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> they're fucking booked. <laughs> they don't need it. Yeah, like, that's true. Yeah, like mine's doing so well because I'm just like, well. <laughs> well, tell them about how you Stop. auditioned for and they asked for your TikTok. Oh, yeah. <gasps> so <laughs> we were talking to our last guest <laughs> oh, no. and she said a lot of things are being done. Like uh, we, she cashed like a show and they were all really found through TikTok. She was found for to be like a head writer of Disney via her YouTube. So she was like, a, social media is like a great way and is the future for like how to get connected and maybe finding jobs. But my manager talked to, I guess I can say this. I'm going to fucking say it. But <laughs> <laughs> Lee Craker, who uh, directed you on Netflix yep. and like he owns Riverdale. He owns like Sabrina t- the Teenage Witch. And he's mm-hmm. like about to start filming like all these fucking pilots. Um, and so my manager was speaking to him about me and he goes, well, send me her TikTok. What? And I was like, can I send you my reel too? Like, what, <laughs> what do you I mean? You like, <laughs> you want my fucking TikTok? Like, I'm just wow. in my kitchen, like trying on video, like trying on clothes. They are like, cute though. They are really <laughs> good. I would book you. <laughs> I love those videos. I and I'm like, option number three. <laughs> option number three. <laughs> Well, thanks, but I was just so shocked. (laughs) And so I've heard that a lot of casting directors are on TikTok now. So part of me um, was like, I go a little extreme for things. I think we do. But I was like, I'm going to buy this like really nice like uh, film camera, like a black magic camera and like start filming my own shorts so people can like see. And I think I still want to do that because I was like, (sighs) like, I don't know, like. Might as well add something else to the plate. Right, I'm like, I want if if they're looking on there, I want to have work where I'm like, oh, that's that what she's really you. doing. Because yeah. like right now, when you go to my social media, it's like you see Playboy and you see like fashion videos. There's nothing about me that makes you think that I'm acting, and yeah. so I want it to be discoverable somehow, like without it being like cringe. Totally. <laughs> well, yeah. Totally. I yeah. Mean, and also, once you start booking stuff too, you'll start having things. To Some repertoire. Yeah. Some repertoire. You'll start having things to post. Like yeah. I think the last thing I saw on your thing was you were in underwear covered in blood. <laughs> <laughs> so it's really different than what I'm seeing right now. <laughs> yeah. You know, sex sells, but also talk about work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were like, oh, funny. Uh, Instagram must not like ball gags or something like that. I was like, oh my god. Yeah, no, I made a post, of, but I. <laughs> that's so random. <laughs> Without any context. <laughs> For anyone who's listening, <laughs> we'll show the picture on our yeah. YouTube. <laughs> um, I had a ball gag in the show. It was like a screen grab, and the I put. What that was it for again? That was American Horror okay, Stories, right. but season two, and. Um, and I posted that, and then they took it down. <laughs> I was like, damn, well, I guess I won't <laughs> post ball gags. <laughs> God, Note I've seen worse on Instagram. <laughs> but totally. I know. She'll get, you'll, you'll get your stuff reported on, like, yeah, all the Playboy stuff. But, but it's been pretty chill lately. It has. I'm like, thank you, Instagram. Yeah, well. They're starting to get it. Yeah, I feel like, ugh, thank God Instagram isn't like TikTok, because I would be very upset. Like, yeah. not being able to post weed. You can't yeah. on TikTok? Uh, no. At all. At all, They'll I'm like, it. yeah, and I'm like, it's not illegal. Everywhere. I think you can get away with it, That's but crazy. like, it definitely does get flagged. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. I think once anyone reports it too, especially on Instagram, it's like, yeah, yeah. Right. But anyway, damn. But well, as far as everything else, before we start wor- uh, wrapping things up, what's in the works for you? What are you working on right now? Where do you want to go? Myself. Oh, <laughs> cute. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. <laughs> uh, but seriously, actually, <laughs> yeah, I think. As far as work goes, we have a few things like in the fire that, you know, there's no contracts or deals on the table, so I don't like to jinx anything, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, Nothing's real yet. Yeah. As we know, it's like it's not real until you're filming. Right. Right. Um, But yeah, but things are good and I truly am working on myself and I feel (laughs) good about where I'm at these days, so that's cool. And you're 27? Um, I am, yeah. 
I remember, and someone said this to me when I turned 27, <clears throat> 27 is the year that everything starts making, everything starts to make sense. Mm-hmm. And I remember that. I, re- I was 27 in Thailand on the, my birthday, and after Who that. Who told you that, Nina? Yeah. Or but the other girl, Delaney. Uh, let's matter. just say Delaney. Yeah. Like more. Um, <laughs> but after that, truly, I was like, damn, things really start. You really start figuring out who you are and you get kind of settled into that. Yeah. Like it's not fully at 27, but you start really getting like comfortable and like nesting in yourself <laughs> at that point. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna start doing that. <laughs> so, home. congrats to you working on yourself at such a good age to start doing that. Thank so. you. Yeah. Well, yeah. how long will you be in LA? I'm We're here. I'm here. Oh. Here. Okay. Well, until you run away again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Honestly, hopefully, I don't. Hopefully I'm here. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I'm. I'm up in Noho. I'll come visit you down here no, by the beach. No, I'll, I'll come visit you. You, okay. you must know this is a recurring topic in these episodes that I'm very much in the, I'm shopping for friends. I don't she needs some many. friends, damn okay. it, please. Um, great. I'm on the market as well. <laughs> Perfect. Wow. You're going to say this to all our guests yes. that we just need friends. Yeah. You, I'll say it tomorrow. This Aww. is actually just for friends. So you're not even <laughs> recording anything. This is you have no idea. This is people. like a giant interview to be my friend. <laughs> You made the cut. You got the job. You booked it, kid. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. How funny. <laughs> yeah, you have no idea. I will drive to you. Like, I am. She'll buy you lunch. Bad She'll bad help language. you unpack. Yeah. She'll water your plants while you're gone. Yeah. She's a good one. If you need me to, like, this watch an cute. animal. <laughs> like, if you need dinner, like. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's okay. go. He's let's like, please it. stop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. I get so excited when people come over. Like two weeks ago, we had like a lot of people over, and I was like, I'm gonna cook for everyone. I went to the farmers market and got all this stuff. And Cute. did anyone care or notice? They should. I think so. Okay, good. Someone got seconds. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. well, did they say thank you? Yeah. Okay. I think they're always like, thank you, Lacey. I'm Seriously. a big thank you person. Yeah. I, uh, when, it's like, <laughs> when it's a lot of people, we're cooking curry, that curry that's like really the good. One, yeah. The one we tried to cook on the Netflix thing and they like, the person did not give a fuck at all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to be on Netflix. <laughs> cool. Potentially, I think. We haven't really figured it out yet. It's like some documentary. Yeah. That's so maybe one day this podcast will be big. <laughs> <laughs> Until then, it's just cute and cute and mushroomy right now. <laughs> I'm happy to be on it. Thanks, yeah. guys. Yeah, thank you for coming on. We do have three more questions for you that have nothing to do with this interview, though. Perfect. Yes. So you want to go? What is your favorite way to cook or eat a potato? I need this in my friend like to know when I'm cooking. <laughs> you things. are now being interviewed. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um, I usually use an air fryer. Mm. Um, do you make french fries i do like discs oh um, or cubes oh, okay discs. Discs. so like potato chips Discs. <laughs> 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 I can't. i'm not an asmr person yeah, when people <laughs> when someone <laughs> whispers in my ear i'm like, like get the fuck <laughs> out anyway <laughs> um yeah air fryer is nice or okay i mean i well, actually, all the ways. I guess I kind of do it all the ways. This is why this yeah. is a great question. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> it's crazy. A tough one. I don't think there's a potato out there I don't like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> except maybe a raw one. Oh, I don't yeah. think you can even eat that. But it is the most nutritious way. Raw? Mm. Raw. I mean, yeah, that, yeah. that good, good I'm, skin. I might have yeah. to try that. <laughs> Those nutritional <laughs> skins. I think potato experts out there, please <laughs> yeah. chime in. Well, breaking news, the, n- the next LA juice is this potato juice. Oh, I'm surprised. That, no, there's no way people would get onto that. It's too much of I a would. carb. I would, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if you could be a gold medalist at any Olympic sport, summer or winter, which one would it be? Oh, definitely summer. Definitely gymnastics. Oh, oh okay. yeah. Well, cool dancer. Oh, 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 right. Yeah. Okay. Not saying I could definitely do it. I was <laughs> like, that's. I think that's the the coolest one. Yeah. Or yeah. diving's pretty sweet too. I, I could I, see you being a diver. Yeah. Mine was synchronized swimming. Cool. Yeah. I feel like that's just like. It <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go. Let's make a team, guys. <laughs> God, could you imagine? <laughs> Cute. Okay. Okay. Wait. Oh yeah. Would you rather smoke weed on the beach or smoke trip psychedelics in the desert? Trip in the desert. Yeah. Yeah. That's the answer we like. All oh right, so God. we're going to go trip in the desert, learn our synchronized swimming. <laughs> in a pool nearby. Yes. <laughs> wow, what a nice little afternoon that oh, would be. perfect. Well, I'm trying to plan a Friendsgiving in, in Joshua Tree, so. Thank you. I'm not our friends. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I won't come. be there, so <laughs> it's fine. Whoa. I'm never invited to Friendsgiving. What? 
Oh. <laughs> she's like, yeah. I you didn't get the fucking invite. It's just like, yeah. Well, there's, a, there's a conflict in friendships, so. Oh no, the it's drama. Fine. It's fine. It's fine. Anyway, One well, day. thank you for freaking coming on. Thanks for freaking having me. Yeah. I really Thanks for freaking it. having me. This was so fun. Yeah, yeah it this, was really fun. Yeah, this was this was cute. This was I was really looking forward to this one today. And so. it was fun to like, I guess finally sit down with you yeah totally we met at an audition i think <laughs> <laughs> how long have y'all known each other i think literally since like uh, the antm days like when i had black hair like it, years we've yeah. been following each other yeah for what ever. yeah and i guess it's like we could have met it up back back then but i'm glad we didn't because i we was it in <laughs> yeah i've changed you, you didn't want to know <laughs> <I'm a better laughs> person yeah. Yeah. <laughs> people would walk up to Lacey and immediately start being like do you speak English? Yeah. Like, yeah. It's like that TikTok trend where they're like, and then they do the photos. Do you know what I'm talking <laughs> about? No, no, no. Shit balls. It's like they go up to like little, little like cute kids or, <laughs> and they're like, do you speak English? And then they like go, when they do but oh. then there's a the guys it's a funny thing but then they like take all these whack photos i have to show you oh. yeah you have to show it to me because i'm surprised you don't know bust. this trend because like <laughs> this is a bust <laughs> right now I'll myself out. Thanks, guys. <laughs> i'm on bella hadid tiktok right now what she has one no 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 like all of my fucking feed is like hello my name is bella hadid like huh? she, i just see so many videos of bella and like things about bella and i'm like uh, i love her but i'm like I'm never on TikTok, but I wouldn't mind that. No, I wouldn't mind it either. But I'm just like, it's enough for me. I'm oh. like, well, I like her a lot, but I'm just like, I'm getting triggered because of like modeling stuff. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah. So yeah. I'm like, you can, you can get off my feet. Yeah, now. I would be triggered too if that's all I saw. And I have nothing to do with it. <laughs> yeah. um, well, again, thank you for coming on. Where can our listeners find you? Um, <gasps> you can find me <laughs> in North Hollywood. <laughs> At address. Uh, <laughs> you um, uh, Instagram is Nico Greetham. So is Twitter. So is TikTok. Are okay. you on Twitter? Do you tweet? I do tweet. Oh, like, oh Twitter. No, I don't know. Oh, we have a Twitter. I, I kind of feel like a hoe on Twitter. Like really? a Twitter Nico is a different person. Oh, I, I have to watch. I have to. I like haven't. It's probably a good thing that I stopped tweeting. Every social yeah. media yeah. platform but has I their own personality. Totally. Yeah. yeah. Genuinely. Wow. I want to see your Twitter now. Yeah. I mean also, find me on, like, Hulu. Don't look at my social media. <laughs> okay. Find me, like, the, my work. <laughs> my real stuff. <laughs> don't, don't figure out me as a person. Just watch what I'm on. It's <laughs> fine. Aww. Watch these other versions of myself. <laughs> yeah. Aw, well, thank you again. This Thanks, was, guys. It was really nice meeting you. Yeah, like, you this too. is so great. Yeah. yeah, good. I'm glad we got to experience the Golden Retriever. Yeah. The Golden Retriever soon. Maybe Doberman Serial Killer vibes Ooh. later, perhaps? I'll take it. Yeah, but maybe mm. not for real. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, before we go, Lacey, you want to wrap it up? Yeah, I never know where to like look for this. I'm like, I know, do I like look in the camera? Yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna look down. Anyways, <laughs> you can look here. <laughs> just look down. God, you actress. <laughs> um, if um, if you guys enjoyed the episode, please let us know. We would love to get reviews from y'all. And if you want to keep up with us online, everything will. Be Lily. be linked Lily. down below <laughs> um if there's any guests that you want to see on please let us know um or any topics that you would like to learn about also let us know but on that note we will catch you in the next episode yeah bye, bye. <laughs>